All right, welcome in everybody. Sorry for the uh, the wait, a little later than usual. I suppose I should get my truck moving instead of wasting gas, huh? All right, hello Sawyer, Lessons, NCIS, and JJ, nice. Getting in some TV. Oh, that's right, we were uh, over here. Looking forward to this one, Mateo, Tank Baby, Insane Dragon, and Zing. Alright, so... All I did was... Well, actually, let me shut this down quick, I'll show you. So... Why did it not shut down? Um, so we had the Taiga up here. I moved that over here. I was going to drive down this road, but obviously I got a little roadblock from flipping the truck. Uh, we had the Zix over here in the last episode from rescuing the Dan. We moved that up over here. Now it's going to rescue our step and probably end up carrying our logs. Uh, we had the Acteon over here. I took that all the way back and grabbed fuel and that's where it's sitting at because after this mission, I'm pretty sure we're on to moving this big rocket out of here. But since this video is, well, I think we'll do it at the start of the next video. We'll uh, kind of get most of our trucks between the garage here and the uh, gateway. Somewhere on this main main drag, I guess I'll say. Um, but yeah, then we're, then we're getting the heck out of here. Um, so yeah, we just got the rocket. And then we got to deliver two medium logs and a metal beam up there, which you guys can see. But we do need to bring this log trailer back because I don't want to have to buy another one. We're trying not to buy trailers as much as we can. Um, and then I was going to bring back this trailer. Actually, there's a trailer right in front of it as well. You can see the maintenance trailer because that has some sp uh, spare tires and parts in it that I want. And then I think... I mean, I'll, prob I'll probably grab a couple of these trailers, but we'll take this fuel trailer for sure. We'll probably take that trailer. we kind of got a couple of trailers. We'll take the sideboard here. Um, it's still torturing your soul, I see. <coughs> uh, hello, Artem. Yay, yay. So, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll get into it. I think we'll, like I said, we'll try and deliver these logs and metal beams. And then we'll probably just move most of the vehicles into the route. So, uh, this is what we're working with. I almost had this truck flipped over. If you can see, the crane is out. It's like just barely tipped over. Oh, all good, Mateo. No worries. All right, I think we're just gonna try and push it a little bit that way. I did think about bringing out my Tuz. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? I think a Tuz would probably be a better option for this, don't you? Ah, crap. I feel like it'd probably be better to flip this thing over. Just it's smaller. They're both really capable, but it's just easier to get into these uh, areas, you know, with all the rocks and stuff. I think it'd be easier to flip it. Let's see if maybe I can push it back a bit more. There we go. Give ourselves a little bit more room, maybe. That's not where I wanted to go. But yeah, they're going to be a little bit shorter streams this week. Oh, there we go. Um, just because I got to wait for my nephews to uh, be off the off the internet. They are off of school all week. And uh, yeah, I've tried it before when they were off school and it just is... Oh wow, I didn't even notice this big rock here. I thought I had a bunch of room to work with. Um, but yeah, they, they ate up all the internet. But <laughs> kind of a funny thing, I told... Uh, I was in Telemenis' stream earlier, so I know Zing was there. I think Lessons was there as well. But... Um, so my, my one nephew normally plays Fortnite, 
and uh, apparently he got his account suspended so I was kind of breaking up laughing earlier he was uh, harassing people and he's, he's 10 years old but it's pretty funny I mean it's obviously not a good thing but it it just was kind of funny to me like he got banned and I was like wow. or not banned he got suspended it's like what did you do and he's like I don't know I just I can't talk to people I can't join parties I can't message them and I was looking into it and I was like oh no he can still play but he can't uh, he can't talk to anybody he can't communicate he's like uh, suspended from any kind of communication so he must have been like harassing people or something I don't know <laughs> but it's pretty funny Welcome in, Kevin. You just drove 30 miles, also drove and got some diesel. Nice. Some diesel. Woohoo, late stream. Yes, it is pretty late. NyQuil lollipops. This is uh, lessons, lessons go to every time I tell them I'm watching and my brother's kids or sister's kids or whatever. NyQuil lollipops. He must have been talking some schmack, yeah. I don't know what he was saying. I I didn't really pay attention to him or hear him, but he must have been talking some kind of smack because he got his account suspended. I mean, and it, they, they sent, because it, my, it's my mom's email address, because um, he lives at, he lives here with, because uh, I, I quit my job and moved back in with my parents, and so they live here with, my parents, um, it's kind of a big mess. My sister's a, a huge mess. I know I've talked about it before, but, um, so yeah, her kids, she lost custody of her kids to my parents. Um, cause nobody else in my family really wanted to take it on, you know, but Child Protective Services was going to take her kids. So yeah, um, they're here with us, but it's under my mom's email address and she showed me the email. And it was like they have uh, some, they've reviewed evidence, I guess. He must have like said something a few times and somebody recorded him saying it or something and then reported him. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it kind of cracked me up. I just realized I forgot to grab the trailer that I purposely brought with. 10 year old operators in the house. Um. It was me and my two brothers back in the day online. Nice. Ten-year-old Mercs. Yeah, I, d I didn't say this to my mom, but I was like, if they had the same policies and procedures back when I used to play online, man, I would have been banned so fast. I was swearing up a storm. Oops. I, I talked a lot of smack back when I played online. Although, I will say I was actually pretty good, so... I could back it up. This, my 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 best friend. His name is actually Jordan as well. Um, it's it's kind of funny, but um, people used to think that we would be cheating because we were just really really good. <laughs> okay, yeah. This uh, this vehicle is pretty broken up. Okay, let's go grab the Zix quick. I forgot to bring the trailer with this one. I was gonna get the trailer out and then I was just talking so much that I kind of forgot about it, so let me see if I can get this out of here. Okay, that's probably almost perfect to be honest. But yeah, I did fill up the uh, the Acteon and I left it at the fuel station because I was like, I might have just enough fuel to get to get done what I want to get done. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I might have just enough. So I didn't roll it back out yet, but we might need to. We do have the Warthog out here. Why is the snow like white right there? Like really white. I guess it's shining through or something, I don't know. It's weird.
JJ, you said you can only drive trucks you obtain, right? Yeah, that is our, our current set of hard mode rules, yes. So if you don't find the truck on the map somewhere, we're not going to use it in this hard mode playthrough. Oh no, it's stuck on the tree again. Oh, bummer. Okay, let's try... Touching a winch over here. There we go. How did you go into Russia then? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so um, I told I told my viewers, I was like, we got two options. We have to break one of our rules because we're not buying any trucks. And we're, we're also only using Russian trucks in Russian regions. So we either have to break a rule and go buy a truck or we have to break a rule and use an American truck in a Russian region for a little bit. So what we did was we used a Russian truck or an American truck in Tamir. And we went, and we went and grabbed the Taiga quick, and so we used an American truck in a Russian region for a, probably about an hour, if I had to guess. We went out and got the Taiga, and I think we went and got the Tuz 166, and then I drove back to the garage and parked it, and it stayed there ever, ever after that. So, we, we used a, a non-Russian truck in Russia for about an hour, which kind of kind of sad we had to do it, but it was either that or buy a different truck. and. The way that I saw it was, if I buy a truck, that probably opens up the door for people being like, well, you already bought a truck, so why don't you just buy another one? And I'm like, oh, I'd rather, I'd rather deal with uh, using the truck in the wrong region for a little bit than buying a new truck, so that was why I went that route. But yes, that is a good question, Artem. Very good question and a good point. Uh, come on, please don't get stuck on it this time. There we go. Hey Lonnie, welcome to the late stream. Yeah, it'll probably be late all week. So I posted on the Discord and I posted on my, my Twitter or my X. But uh, usually I, I stream and then I kind of work on other videos. Sorry if you guys heard that. I went up to go itch my, my head. I had one hand on the controller and I just smacked my headphones. Um, but yeah, I didn't post it on my YouTube. I normally work on... I stream and then I work on videos after that, but today I did the opposite and probably will do all week. But I just made a quick video with some SnowRunner news that basically we have a release date for sure for the Atom. Yes, I have Atom truck. And then we will probably be getting PTS sometime this week. It could be any day now. He sees that I see you. I see. <laughs> Let's detach this. I got a little truck jam here. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do for glades. I think that's what I'm gonna do is just use Russian trucks because I my original plan was just to use whatever trucks are available in that region. But people are telling me that I should use more because, well, what is going on? Um, we'll repair the Zix. Oh wait, that's my my stuff. Dang it! All right, Taiga. You know, I pull forward a little bit to get this one. Steps rolling away from us. Let's repair. There we go. 105. Much better. I probably should refuel out of there as well. I don't really have much fuel. But yeah, people want me to use it. They say that the uh, both the Glades and Season 11 are sort of neutral, right? Like they're they're neither North American or Russian. And they, they kind of said the same thing about the Tatra trucks and the BM-17. I just, I don't want to make it too easy, I guess. I feel like if I opened it up to just using every truck, then it'd be kind of boring. I don't know. Maybe not for you guys, but Part of the challenge of this makes it more fun for me, so like making it easier doesn't like just doesn't doesn't register, it doesn't sound fun to me, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense, but I think for some people, like for Zing it probably does make sense because he likes he plays on hard mode as well, he kinda understands the challenge and And actually Mateo, I know he plays on hard mode as well. 
does it say it's some country or just Asia? It says Central Asia, but if you look it up on a map, it's it's uh, Azerbaijan, which is just south of Russia. It's, I, I guess, I mean, depending on where you want to draw the line, it's, yes, yeah, I'd call it uh, Western Asia, maybe, but they call it Central Asia. Norbin, JJ, the gate doesn't move. <laughs> oh man, I thought the gate did move. I also hate this part of the uh, the path. This is a bad part. Oh wait, you know what I just realized? With both of my trucks back there, I can't attach to these logs anyways. I can't, I can't carry and deliver this one. So you know what I should do? is pull up with my Zix and drop off these metal beams. I'm kind of wasting fuel I don't need to waste then. I just thought about that. That looks like a bad angle. Let me roll forward just a bit more. Oh my gosh. This area seems really bad. There we go. Okay, where was it? Here we go. But yeah, we'll probably be streaming at this time all week, guys. I think we'll do... I'll probably do... Well, I'll do expeditions for sure tomorrow. Well, I shouldn't say for sure. Um, the plan is to do expeditions tomorrow. Snow Runner Hard Mode Wednesday. And then two more expeditions Thursday, Friday. Kind of like we did last week. But, they're probably going to have BTS come out sometime this week, which means we're going to change it. And probably do... I mean, depending on which day um, BTS comes out. If it's if it's tomorrow, we'll, we'll jump into BTS uh, Season 13 tomorrow. But if it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll jump in whatever day it, it comes out. And when it comes out, we'll probably do a day or two. I don't know how many days we'll do exactly, but probably a day or two of that, maybe more, before we switch back to uh, expeditions in hard mode again. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. We'll switch it up between expeditions, hard mode, and the uh, season 13. You say mix it up between or I say mix it up in does region North America and Russian PTS streams noise yeah I got PTS streams coming soon frame exemption mod for vanilla trucks stat so like if they like the uh, the step there extend the frame a bit be able to attach a trailer like a simple simple little add-on Crap, I forgot to throw in the metal beams. I'm so distracted today. I don't know what's going on. I'm out of rhythm, guys. Okay, where is it? I'm off my game. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people are looking forward to the Azov Atom, and I am as well, but... It sounds like we're going to get the season 13 to drop sometime this week which that's two brand new trucks that is more than we're going to get with the Atom that's you know to me that's more exciting I prefer the terrain you know a new map plus two new trucks that's all of it's like brand new uh, my original guess like four weeks ago or whatever actually I think you can, you can probably go back quite a long time um, because they've been pretty consistent with PTS I said March 28th was my, uh, oh no, that'd be the 29th, dang it. Friday, this Friday, I think is the day they're going to come out with BTS. Just because the last, I think two or three have been Fridays. Back this up. The only problem with that has been, um, sometimes they have it to where it doesn't detect that you own the year pass. So... When you go to log in, you can't play the new season. Not till they go get back to work on Monday and fix it. It's like, oh, come on. So hopefully that's not the case. 
I'll smoke so you can focus your good lessons. Hello, Robert. Morning. Is it morning where you're from, Robert? Here it's almost 9 o'clock p.m. But good morning to you, Robert. Good morning wherever you are. At each end of the region, you'll have to drive all the trucks back to the garage. Yes, I've, I've, we've not recovered a single time yet, Artem, which is one of our one of our goals. I don't know if we'll be able to, you know, fully uh, stick to that. You know, we might get in a spot where we get at basically like two, I guess two, two, like maybe a truck rolls down a mountainside in a bad spot and it's icy or there's rocks or trees or something. If we get in too, too much of a bind, we might have to recover, but yeah, until, until this point so far, we haven't had to recover yet through seven maps. Well, six, wait, yeah, Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, uh, Cola, Yukon, Wisconsin. So we've gone through six whole regions and then we're halfway done with this one. Alright, let's grab medium logs. Oops, hang on. Uh, to log the trailer. Dang, so you'll never really have a break after a region. The, the time when I usually get a break is if it switches from a Russian region to an American region. The region, the reason I get a break is because I'm not a lot, I'm not transferring trucks between regions. So it's like, uh, right after we finish, like say Wisconsin, I could still have all my American trucks in Wisconsin if I wanted, you know, cause I don't need them until season seven or excuse me, season six. So here, here we are in season four. This is all Russian. Season five is all Russian. And then in season six, I could bring them all back. So like, I do have a little bit of extra time after I beat a region, if it switches from Russian to American or North American, we do get a little bit of time, but I've been trying to take screenshots of like all the vehicles and some of the trailers and stuff that we used. So I've been trying to do it pretty much all instantly or like maybe over a weekend or, you know, whenever it happens kind of thing. So I've, try, I've tried to sort of like bring some vehicles back that I know I'm not going to use and refuel stuff and fix it and kind of sort of get ahead of stuff before it, before I got to bring all of them back. Should be fine about the recovery rule after Amir. Yeah, there's, I know I've said this probably 20 times by now, but there's one con or one task that I'm specifically worried about in Amir. And it's called Medio Point in Cosmodrome. If you guys... Actually, now that I'm actually... <coughs> excuse me. Now that I'm actually on SnowRunner, because it seems like I was talking about this every time I wasn't on here, I could show you... Actually, I think I have it locked out, though. Alright, let's deliver that and that. Um, I could actually show you exactly where I'm talking about, but I think I haven't explored it on the map yet, because I didn't really explore much when I went to Cosmo because I kind of just went for the Zix and then took took it off, took off and got out of there. Went back to uh, Northern. But yeah, when I get back to my truck here, or actually when I get back to the log station, I think I will uh, switch it back and see. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I guess some of you guys will probably know, but if not, you could look it up on MapRunner. You have to bring, I believe it's a trailer and oil, or maybe it's just oil. Or maybe it's fuel. I don't remember, but it's it's either oil barrels or fuel... <coughs> Excuse me. Oil barrels or fuel barrels. And both sides of this hill are super icy. And one of our uh, sort of goals, again, is no, no chains, no chain tires, so... Uh, yeah, that's... Oh gosh, I did not see that. I was trying to ride on the edge so I wouldn't get as, as far into the mud, but I did not see that one. Okay, so let's shut this down. Let's refuel. And I'll bring up the map here. So yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the, the part I don't have explored here. But there's an icy road right here. And you can kind of see it, it weaves up between these trees and stuff. And this is, it's pretty harsh terrain. And you got to bring it like up to, I can't mark it because I don't have, uh, I'm not on the map. But it's like right up here, right in this middle of the black area there. And then the other way would be if you go out, you, I mean you can get there many different ways I guess, but you go down this main road and then it goes down into like a big uh, froze over river and then there's like a waterfall and then it goes to this like big froze over river area or lake I guess. Um, but you'd have to like climb up a big frozen waterfall to get up to the other side as well. So uh, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that if it's possible or not, but that is the goal. see if we can get this thing delivered and get back. We probably don't have much extra fuel. Um, I think I'm going to have to run out the Warthog over here quick. Oh, I didn't show you guys, but we are currently 48% done. So we're doing pretty good. We're almost halfway done, Namir. How are you doing? Sorry, Robert. I read your chat. Sometimes I get distracted, I keep talking and talking, and I forget that I had one I didn't respond to. I am doing good. How are you doing, Robert? Uh, but I, when I saw Mateo's, I was like, oh, that's right, I forgot to respond to that one. So thanks, Mateo, for the reminder. Oh, this is not good. I flipped over many a trucks at this port. I was going to say point and part, port. Uh, thanks, Robert. Tired, but still working late. How are you doing? Alright, let's see if we can, uh, kick this, oops, kick this up a notch. Nope. Ah. Fail. Oh my gosh. Huge fail. Rolled all the way backwards. Hello, Ian. Welcome to the stream, Ian. How are you doing today? Or tonight, I should say. You know, the timing's a bit bit off, right? We should at least get a few things done, I think. Or, maybe I shouldn't say that. I think we're done with all the contests. And maybe even the tasks after this one. I think this is our last task here. Because we brought back the vehicle and stuff that we had in the last one. Good day. Hey, right, yeah, we still got 60 fuel. We'll probably run out on the, well, definitely run out on the way back, but it's a matter of how far are we gonna get. That's okay, glad to hear you're okay, Matteo. Don't use high when you're already under pressure. It doesn't help that I, uh, I'm using the steering wheel and the expedition controls are still uh, messing me up. So I'm trying to think, I'm like, oh wait, right bumper is shift, right? Wrong, that's parking brake here. But actually, they're supposed to be uh, coming out with snorter, snorter controls for expeditions tomorrow, if you guys didn't see that yet. You are about 15 hours ahead of me, so you're at like uh, 2... no. Yeah, you're probably at like 1 p.m. or something? Alright, 7300 for that. Did we break? Uh, no, we're still 5,000 short of 1.3 million. Okay. Hey, Fox, how are you doing? Welcome. Ian, you are a time traveler. Oh, Australian time traveler, I think that's what he's saying. How did your meeting go the other night, Mateo? That's from... Uh, Robert. Is it done storming over there by you now? Um, temporarily, yes. There's a little bit of a break here. We got 
another three hours before it starts snowing again. Uh, so it, it's basically been snowing for the last three days, like on and off. Uh, we got eight inches today, I think. And then we're supposed to get another eight inches tomorrow uh, from, well, starting in three hours until noon tomorrow. So in the next 15 hours, we're supposed to get another eight inches. And then we're, I think we're good for a bit. Tuesday, 1 p.m., wow. That is kind of crazy. It's super weird to think, like, how people can be that far ahead or behind. I know it's it's ahead because you're uh, on Tuesday, but, like... Yeah, it's just weird. So I've never... I've only traveled two time zones away. I've only been to the West Coast. That's the farthest I've been. Sounds like a perfect day to be playing inside with SnowRunner. Yeah, the other day I watched my uh, my brother's kids and I, I shoveled them a big snow hill to play. They have a, a very flat, you know, city yard where it's nothing, you know. Basically, there's no elevation change at all. Uh, so I shoveled them like a uh, probably... probably a four foot snow hill, something like that. So they were pretty happy about that. And it's funny because the other day I woke up and I was kind of sore and I was like, wow, I must have slept weird. It took me all day to figure it out. I was like, oh, that's right. I, I shoveled for like four hours the other day. <laughs> so came back to bite me. Um, also, hello, Isaiah. Sorry, I missed your message. I saw that. Yes, it is. It is pretty late for you. 10 p.m. Um, but my nephews are home from school for the week and if if I play during the week when they're home from school, it's just the, the times that I've tried have been really bad internet, so. Okay, let's bring out... I don't think I have much in the... where is it? The Taiga, right? 24% fuel. And this one's... I, I did fill this one up, so this one's got a decent amount, but it's going to need that, so we're definitely going to need the Warthog. All right. Actually, does this thing even have enough fuel? It probably doesn't. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, we could basically just fill the Zix with what we have. I should probably bring out the Acteon then. Alright. That's a bummer. Because we're going to need all of that fuel to get all the way back, I guess. Do you like the snow? I do. Um, it's it's not fun when you're like leaving work at like two in the morning and they haven't plowed the roads yet and you got like four inches. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's fine. I also my my driveway is uphill, so that can be kind of annoying to get out. You haven't seen Friday in a long time. Yeah, Friday hasn't been in the live stream for a while. He commented on a video the other day though. He's still, still alive and kicking. He's busy, busy trucking. This is your least favorite map. I think it's most, most people's least favorite, to be honest. Or re least favorite region, I think. Pretty sure I haven't seen him since phase 12. Yeah, it's been a long time. I can't even remember the last time I seen Friday, like in a live stream. I think he did pop in once. Uphill both ways? Uh, no. Uphill leaving for work. Which is worse. Because I'd rather I'd rather have it be uphill when I, like, have to drive up to my house. Because I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to park it here and get out and walk. You know, I can walk 30 yards. But uh, when you park at the bottom of the driveway and then have to go uphill to go to work, which I obviously right now I'm not working, but um, when I did have to work, there was times where I would, I would almost be late, like, I'd spend like 20 minutes trying to get out of the driveway and I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I tried to leave early because of all the snow today and now it looks like I'm not even going to get out of the driveway. Your girlfriend lives in Featherstone? Where are you at, Mateo? Featherstone? Is that UK? I've never heard of it. All right. 
Alright, let's see if we can make it up the hill. Blowing clutches in these small trucks. Uh, the small trucks really have hard work. Yeah, for me, the small trucks are, they're having to put in a lot of work in this region for me. We don't have many other trucks, so these ones are putting in lots of work. Oh, oh, don't, don't do it. You did it. Well, at least we weren't very far away from a truck. That's one thing I don't like. Every once in a while, you, you're going fast and you, like, nick the side of the, uh, the hill. And then you just flip over. Alright, let me get up a little bit of speed here. All I want to do is turn the front around. Actually, it might be easier to push the back end around. Nice place, Darlington Bud. Alright, maybe I can push it this way. Oh boy, this thing seems very heavy. Not liking that. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of grip here in the snow. Once I get out of the snow, though, it's no shot. Looks like you don't have power for that. Yeah, definitely don't have the power. We got it. We gotta pull some, uh, pull some strings here. Sorry, JJ, we're talking over the chat. Turns out we're living in the neighbor, or we are living in neighboring regions in the UK. Nice. That's always fun. Finding out you live right next to someone. Well, not right next to, you, but. It's kind of funny because I remember the other day I made a comment about driving six hours being close to Canada. And I think it was Alderar who was like, six hours? I can drive across all of Poland in six hours or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I guess uh, the states, some of them, you know, they're a lot bigger. Like, if you guys were to ask, like, oh, hey, how far do you live away from, I don't know, say, London? You're like, oh, it's like three hours. We'd be like, oh, that's pretty close. You guys are like, close? What do you mean close? That's, that's a long trip. But for us, it's... I don't know, the, the distances here are pretty large. I also saw another thing about, like, why people in the U.S. don't really travel. Like, we never... I mean, some people do, right? But a large large majority don't really travel. And it's because you can go to, like, other states, which are, like, totally different than your state, and not, not even ever have to leave the U.S., you know? Not saying it's a good thing, but just something that... I saw a video on it, I was like, yeah, that's kind of true. You can you can go to a, a different state and have it be like a totally different... Yeah, 11 hours and you're still in Texas. Pretty crazy. Oh boy. Things are not looking good. I'm just trying to get the front end turned around a bit. Because then I can get it downhill. Here we go. Because now we're almost there. Once you can get it downhill, it's a lot easier. I want to get it downhill to my left. So not, not quite here, but it looked like it kind of wanted to go there, so... We'll keep trying to get the uh, the way that I wanted it, but it, it kind of sucks because this road's here. The road's making it kind of difficult because we're slipping. The Republic of Texas. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can pull that front end down. Oh, it's going. There we go. That took a long time. 
Um, sorry guys, I know I missed a ton of chats. A tiny clock tower that is about 60 feet tall looks exactly like Big Ben, we call it Little Ben. That's funny. We actually know about, or at least I know about Big Ben. A lot of... Big Ben's pretty famous around the world. I never knew about that, but I'm an ex-Portsmouth boy. Was a merchant for 15 years, started as a crew, worked my way up to captain of harbor tugs and passenger boats. Nice, Robert. Has anybody here ever played Minecraft Dungeons? I have not. I've played Minecraft, but I don't know if that's... Sounds like it's a different spin-off of the game or something. More like grip for that. Yeah, we definitely needed a little bit more grip for the tires slipping on the road there. Once we got off the road, it was all right. Respect for the hard grind. You know, there's a cool boat game coming out called Ships at Sea. I've never heard of it. Um, just searched up to make sure what Big Ben is. It's a big clock. A big Ben's a big clock. Sentinel was almost overheating. He got put under a lot of work. Is that a strategy game? Is it really? Kind of look like SnowRunner, but boats. Um, it's set in Norway, okay. No, enjoying Minecraft dungeons, so boring. Oh, really? Oh, not enjoying, okay. I read that wrong. Sometimes I read too quickly and totally miss it. Uh, Mateo, have you ever played, or Robert as, as well as you probably, uh, or I guess really anybody here, I'm going to open it up for everybody, has anybody played the game called Fishing North Atlantic, or Fishing Barrent Seas, or Sea, I guess? Dungeon Crawler, okay. Manor Lords is going to be fun. I've, I, I think I've, I'm pretty sure that game's on my wish list, Mateo. I think I added that to my wish list like a year or two ago. But that does look like a fun game. Oh, Zing, you've played it. Nice. What did you think of it? Or maybe you're saying you did to something else and I, I missed it. Oh, you've played both. Nice. I just thought of it because uh, Mateo said about... Um, the boat game, so it kind of reminded me of that. No, I haven't, but I think the Ships at Sea game is from the fishing game devs. Oh, really? Super chill. Mandalore's demo was amazing. I didn't, I didn't play the demo. I must have missed that. Third person was super cool. Anyone do truck driving? Anyone here? Um... Yeah, I don't know if anyone here right now does. I also got to go in here and grab some spare parts, which I kind of forgot I was going to do earlier. But I emptied this truck just so I could fill it up. Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance is a good dungeon crawler. I think I've played Boulder's Gate and Boulder's Gate 2, but I never played 3, the newest one. That's a good question. Do you still captain, Robert? Really enjoyed... The game called Call of the Wild, The Angler. Uh, Kevin, did you actually know it's on on Steam or uh, on Epic this week? It's the free game on Epic Games. So if anybody didn't know that and you're interested in a fishing game and you have uh, Epic Games or even a computer, you don't have to have Epic Games. You can go and download it now. Uh, but yeah, they give away a free game every week. Let's get the whole roof rack. Let's fix our truck. And buy another 60 points. Is that it? Yeah, okay. I play Call of the Wild except the hunting one. Okay. Yeah, they have Hunter Call of the Wild. I think there's... I think there's two of them, actually. Because uh, someone was saying... A couple weeks ago, I think it was. Amazing, very good fishing game. I highly recommend. 
I haven't played it, but I did, uh, I did buy it, or, well, buy it with, you know, air quotes, because it was free. Yeah, I'm asking because I'm kind of interested, I'm, um, um, only still 15. I know Friday, Friday drives, I'm trying to think if anybody else does, I know there's quite a few people in my comment section who do drive. But now I'm kind of blanking on people who do. For some reason, Friday's the only one that's coming to mind. Being able to drive a truck select tractor is a good... or is good to have your... How do you say that? Repertoire? I think. I'm not sure if that's the word, or maybe I'm... I don't know. Ah, crashing. Oh, Rex? Yeah, Rex, Rex drives too. He drives a... Like, more of a flatbed lumber truck. Yeah, it's because Friday's profile picture is a semi. That might be it. That might be why. You've played Call of the Wild for years, have most of the DLC, but since Way of the Hunter came out, I haven't been back. I don't even watch COTW, that's called the Wild, videos anymore, okay. To be honest, I would love to drive tractor, but that's because of farming sim fostering a new obsession in me. That would be pretty fun. Well. It's probably pretty boring after a while, but I think you probably gotta, like, there's a certain, I mean, you're always doing something, right? You're paying attention, you gotta turn here, lift this, do that, like, you're, there's always something to do, but I think after a while you just be so good at it, kind of be like third nature. But I guess that's every job, right? So no, the toll of the heavy lifting uh, ropes has broken my back. My, I had to retire after about or for ten years ago. Ouch! Yeah, that's not good. Hopefully you're doing all right, Robert. I can imagine those ropes. They're they're super thick, and then you you know throw in a little bit of water, and those those things are so heavy. I mean they're heavy to begin with, but. You love Farming Simulator too? Nice. I do too. I wish I'd, I should play it more. I'd say this about so many different games, but... Farming Simulator, I, I played it a little bit. I'd love to play it more. I've, I had a lot of fun when I have played it. Hello, Zavi. Welcome to the stream. Also, Wheel and Geezer, I didn't welcome you here either, so welcome to the stream. Or anybody else that I missed. I said welcome to the first, like, ten people, and then kind of got distracted and got into it. Old schoolers will reference it as a tractor if it has a cat engine. kind of just trying to see how much fuel we actually use up driving all the way back here cuz we left there with the full tank I didn't give any to the Sentinel or anything so it's taken us about 90 liters just to get to this point it's more interesting to talk uh, in smaller streams because people respond yeah that's true that's kind of one of the things that I'm not looking forward to if I ever do get, oh gosh, ever do get that big, would be like where the chat goes so fast that you can't really reply to anybody anymore because it's just like hundreds of people talking at the same time. 
you kind of lose that like because if you're a small streamer you you know a lot of the people who come because they come back time and time again you know but once you get big there's just so many people that you kind of forget who is even there anymore whoa my gosh we keep flipping oh they're just going too quick I think we might need another truck for this one, though. I could go the Warthog. Maybe. I gotta slow down. No one will touch you as you've blown... Uh, a disc on the left side, bud. And I've got a right disc that's going, but once I'm in a wheelchair... Or, but it's done once... Sorry, I can't read and talk. Uh, right disc that is going, and once it does, I'm wheelchair butt. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's cool, thanks, JJ. You're welcome. JJ, will Season 13 come with a new truck other than Adam? Yeah, Season 13 will have probably two new trucks. Two has been kind of the, uh... I don't know what you want to I don't know if you want to say, like, the staple, like, the kind of the go-to number, right? They didn't say it'll have to, but uh, Essarokan did say a couple weeks ago that they'll have um, kind of similar numbers in expeditions to SnowRunner, which basically means like t two is, you know, two is kind of been the number that they have for all the updates. So this one will probably have two. Most of the next ones will probably have two, and it sounds like expeditions will get two when they start having updates for uh, new season, new seasons or DLCs. Ouch. Slow down, sir. Adam doesn't come with Season 13. It's a separate DLC. Yes, that is correct. Uh, you could do a subscriber mode to help. That's true. You could do a subscriber mode and you could change it to slow mode only. So you could slow it down a little bit. Oh no, no. Oh man. I should just take the, uh, take the... Take the snow route. Um, so, yeah, I guess I don't know for sure that it will, but... If you think back, so... I guess we'll, we'll go... For, off my probably not so great memory, but... Um, season 12 had two, two new trucks, right? Yeah, slow mode and subscriber mode would both help. I think slow mode just means that they can't post. They can only post one message every 60 seconds or something, so that would definitely slow things down. Um, but yeah, season 12 had two new trucks. Season 11 had two new trucks. Season 10 had two new trucks. 9 had two. 8 had three. Um, 7 had two. Six had three, if you count the A and K, which I don't know if you can count it or not, but because the A and K came free for everybody, so it wasn't really like part of the season. So yeah, it's that one's kind of up in the air, whatever you want to do, you know, but um, and then season five had two, season four had two, I had to think the Zix and the Sentinel. Uh, season three... I think that one had the boar, uh, Paystar, and uh, Pacific. So that one I think had three. I also think season two had three, right? You got the cat 770G and TH357. But it came with, or the bandit came out then. I don't know if the bandit, because I wasn't playing during two and three, so um, I don't. The bandit you obviously can't find on the map either, so I don't know if you want to count that as a two or three, but... Uh, F750, Warthog, and Acteon, Season 1 had three, so... I think the first year they might have had a couple more trucks, just because... That helps with sales, and then now that they've, uh, they got into it a little bit, they... Have cut it back to, like, two trucks per season. Snow tires, you would recommend using snow tires? 
We're trying to beat it without using any chains, Kevin. I know it definitely would help in this. Watching us sliding all over the road, for sure. Alright, let's see if we can turn this truck around a little bit. Actually, let's see if I can get up behind this pole. Might be able to pull it up here. Hello, JJ and Chat. Hello, Grey Wolf. Why am I streaming late? Because my... My nephews are home, and when they're home, they eat up all the internet. They don't have school this week, so... Probably one whole week of late streams. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Although I'm not sure if this thing has the power to flip that truck now that I watched it just pull on it and nothing happened. Uh, did they give more details about the ones that come in Season 13? No, they did not. I checked all the uh, all the messages from Esserokin. Hello, saw the announcement and thought it was tomorrow. Um, what announcement are you talking about, Daniel? Oh, no, that, it's going to be right in the way, isn't it? You hate those bots. Wait. You know that weird bot that are in stream chats? Oh, like the uh, the night bot? Or Streamlabs bot or whatever? Uh, JJ, the Azov Atom is going to be great. I reckon it will be somewhere between the 6541 and Tatra Phoenix. I think you mean 64131? I think you probably just hit the wrong key. Actually, no. Still wouldn't add up, but yeah, I, I get get what you're saying. Stream announcement for tomorrow. Where did you see it? On, on Discord or where, uh, Daniel? Yeah, it's kind of a, an unscheduled late stream, just because. Gotta fit it in when I can. You can't wait for the ass up, Adam? Sounds like a great one. Come in the game, yeah. It sounds like a fun truck. I noticed it as a roof rack. I don't know if many other people noticed that in the pictures. I didn't notice it the first time I looked at it. Oh shoot, I went backwards. That's good. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm confused, Daniel. You said you saw the stream announcement and thought it was tomorrow, but what, what announcement? Because I posted it on, on X and Discord that I, I'd be streaming later this week. I don't... That's why I guess I'm kind of confused. Unless you just happened upon the stream. Maybe I should have just brought a bigger truck. This thing is struggling. 24 watching, 19 likes. Thank you, Wild Fox. Alright, let's just try and go down. When we get it, we'll have to test it out on the hill. We can do that. That would actually be a, probably a pretty good truck for it. Now it's 27? Nice. Thank you, Wild Fox. Yeah, I'm like slipping down this road. I can't even cross it. On YouTube, thought the 25th was tomorrow. 
Did I post something on YouTube? I didn't think I did. Maybe I did. Now we got it to a point where it's finally, like, facing downhill. It has no purpose unless you use purposely. What is this for lessons? Must have missed that part. Ah. My goodness. That's what you get for not bringing the right truck to the right job. Yeah, I, I have the Dan just down the street. I probably should have grabbed that one. I just figured this one was probably closer, but definitely wasting a lot more time than I probably need to. Because everything I try, it just kind of spins the truck. The, the back end is a lot more heavy than the front with the fuel on it. Maybe we can just push it. Push it around. Hopefully get lucky and get it to flip somehow. I seriously gotta drive it better. I've been driving terrible tonight. Off my game. Oh boy. Almost about to flip myself over. Oh no, it was so close. Alright, yep. Yeah. We'll go get the Dan. Just wasted a ton of time. Actually, the Dan doesn't have much fuel either. Actually, no, let's use the Tuz. That thing will flip it over and that thing has fuel, right? Yeah, more fuel. Hey JJ, sorry Lightning Ninja, I did see your chat earlier as well. Welcome to the stream. I've, I've uh, been really bad at seeing the chats as well. They've been going too quick for me. What is everyone doing while watching this stream? Good question. Hello, Broadster. Uh, check your channel earlier. was uh, opening a fresh tab on YouTube to check for a new video from another YouTuber. Okay. I, I guess maybe I did post it to YouTube. I didn't think I did. Must have lost track. I don't know. I thought I only posted it on Discord and... X, but maybe I... I don't know. Uh, I'm doing good today, Lightning. How are you doing? Also, hello, Tank Baby. I don't know if I said welcome. Uh, I missed your stream again because of TikTok. <laughs> Those darn TikTok videos, they'll get you. Robert's playing Expeditions, nice, on Switch. Playing Arc Ascended, nice. Finished uploading a new video and then just watching YouTube. All right, well, let's take a little poll with uh, 30 people in here. More than likely, PTS will come out this week. Like, I'd, I'd put the odds at, like, 95% it comes out this week. Um, so what do you guys think? When do you think it'll come out? Tuesday? Wednesday? Thursday? Or Friday? Again, I, I put my money on Friday, like, a month and a half ago, so I'm sticking with that. Friday? Oh, we got a $2 wiener water soup. Nice. I like the emojis going with that. Thank you, Tank Baby. That's awesome. Wiener water soup. You just had to bring it up again. You, you like that one, don't you? I don't know why that... It, like, I remember as a kid it always cracked me up, and it still kind of does. It's like... It's just such a weird name. Like, he's the only person I've ever heard call hot dogs wiener water soup just because it's hot dogs and water. You know, it's like a 
Hot dog soup. <laughs> Uh, night Matt, take it easy. See you soon. Is Matt going to bed? Did I miss something? Oh boy, I'm riding up the side of a cliff here. Yeah, I do like it quite a bit. Tink Baby, did you hear they're talking about banning it again? I know they're talking about that like a couple years back. Rest well. Oh, Robert's going to bed, maybe. You guys got the convo crossed. I'm not Robert, is I must have missed Robert saying that. Well, have a good night, Robert. Thank you for stopping in. Sorry, I'm uh, a little messed up on the chat, but yeah, thanks for stopping in, Robert. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day, or night, I think. I think you said it was, or you said good morning earlier, so I don't know which time zone exactly you're in, but um, it sounded like you were neighbors with uh, Mateo in the UK, so it's probably what, uh, two in the morning or something? I think it's a six hours time difference, so... Oh no! <sighs> Overflipped it. There we go. Hey JJ, how are you doing today? And I bet season 13 of SnowRunner will be on public test server on Friday. Okay, so we got one vote from Brandon for Friday. Favorite quote other than that is Mateo talking about drinking your bath water. That was pretty funny, you screenshot of that and posted it. Uh, banning what? Banning TikTok. They're talking about banning TikTok again. Like there's actually a, a vote passed somewhere. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it was the house or the... The Senate somewhere vote passed about banning TikTok again in the United States. Sea cross combo. <laughs> yeah, the, the con there's a couple of different conversations going on here. What would we do without 420? Wait, what? No, I'm not. What's going on? <laughs> Matt will never live that down from Tank Baby. I thought you were still here. It's 0236, 236 in the morning. It probably won't though. Yeah, I don't know. I would say it probably wouldn't either. Or I guess I shouldn't say, well, they're, they're kind of doing the same thing as last time. They're trying to force a sale to a United States uh, company. And that way we control the data so that they can't, you know, use it maliciously, I guess. So it's either they sell it or get banned. That was the two kind of, uh, the things that happened last time when they brought it up. Social media has no purpose. Then again, I'm from the seventies. YouTube is as close to social media as you get. Yeah, YouTube is kind of the only real thing that I use. I, I have an X, I have a Discord. Um, I, I was gonna make a Facebook. If you guys actually look at my end screen on my videos, I've had the same thing for like years and I just never made a Facebook account. Probably should, but yeah. Oh my God, 74 damage on that. Uh, but yeah, I don't have Facebook or TikTok or Snapchat, Instagram, anything like that. I basically just have uh, Twitter or X, uh, Discord, and YouTube. Pretty basic. Oh my... Again. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, JJ, did you notice the strange new cargo in the back of the Azov Adam screenshots? Strange new cargo? No, I did not. I reckon it's a hint for the new DLC maps. Did they have new... Did they have a cargo in there? I didn't see any cargo.
I thought because they if you if you read uh, the article, not the article, like the 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 uh, the paragraph they wrote on it, they said it has like a they called it a uh, like a repair module and a refueling module. And if you look at it really closely on the on the picture that I have for the the thumbnail, it looks like they they have the fuel tank from Expeditions on there. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like that. But I missed the uh, cargo. I did not see any cargo there. I don't know my lessons. At least I can hear a 454 big block on TikTok. Lesson says he'd rather work for one. Um, it looks like a metal roll and one of the pumps from season 12. Really? I'll have to look. I didn't notice it, no. Oh, was it a pump? Thought it was something new. Okay, so... I, I didn't even notice it in there, so... Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so Brandon was the only only person that voted. Uh, I guess you guys, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. You can vote for whenever you want, but I would say it's like 95% we're going to get PTS by the end of the week here. So I'll ask it again. Uh, when do you think it'll come out? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday? Um, the only, like, the latest reply or whatever that we know is somebody asked, like, would it be would it PTS be coming as soon as today? That was like twelve hours ago, and he said for sure not today. So it sounds like maybe it's a day or two away would be my guess. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it'll be out tomorrow? Do you think it'll be Wednesday or Thursday or Friday? Also, that was a pretty funny picture you posted, Matt, with the uh, the trailer with the the name and logo. That was pretty good. Apple just charged fifteen dollars to your account, WTF? What? Fifteen dollars? Download some music or something? Oops. Uh JJ doesn't need to worry, he's got a branded trailer in Ontario. Yeah, there we go. This is, this is one of the worst driving I've had in a while, guys. This has been bad. Robert says Friday. Okay, so we got two for Friday. TikTok is stealing your money. There you go. Zing's, Zing's caught on to it. China's stealing your money, Tank Baby. It's the TikTok that's doing it. They're just saying it's an in-app purchase and the Chinese government's being funded by uh, all the TikTok users. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm trying to change the view a little bit. I should be charging them. They're charging you. For hearing them take a shit, nice. <laughs> Alright, now we're finally to where we uh, kind of got everything stuck at. Oh, I was just looking at the top right, I was like, wait, we gotta bring an oversized into here? Where do we gotta go? But then I remembered, um, it says Chernakomens right next to it, so I was like, okay, never mind, that's, that's not us, that's not for this. You're gonna say Thursday through Friday? Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll just give you a notch on both days. I just wanted to see kind of where the consensus would land. But it looks like Friday. We got 
basically three votes for Friday plus myself. Man, this is so slow. I mean, I can't wait till we get to season five just to get a bigger fuel truck. Touch of Force and Touch of Phoenix both holding 2,000 liters. That's going to be so nice. Especially the Force with its roof rack, a little bit extra fuel even. Same here, says Tank Baby. Okay, Mateo says Wednesday. So we have one Wednesday, one Thursday. Uh, Tank Baby says Thursday, Friday again, so... We'll say one Wednesday, two Thursdays, what's that, four Fridays? Four Fridays in mine. Nobody thinks it's tomorrow, huh? I, excuse me, I would be surprised if I woke up and it was there tomorrow. Gotta love when you drive across town to get some spray paint, but when you take off the cap, Accidentally break the nozzle. Oh my gosh. Tank baby, you got some bad luck. Jamaican tank? That's a good question. What is the spray paint for? Are you gonna you gonna tag someone's house? Spray paint your uh, your sign on it? Just spray spray painting the headlight for your Jeep. Okay. I forgot to check how much fuel, because I had to refuel this truck. So basically, well, I guess I could still check, because it's the only thing I took fuel from, right? How much fuel did it take just from us to go from the fuel station all the way here? Let's see. 100, 100 liters, we got 40 extra, so... 170 liters just to get to this point. Dang. Um, yeah, we'll fill up the roof rack. Why not? There we go. Tag is full. Some would say regal. I wish. I'm not that autistic. Is it Banksy? Ah, uh, Jeep. Okay. Yeah. Had a blanket stapled to it for the longest time. What? Blanket stapled to your headlight? Am I reading this right? Oh man, this is another slow spot. Alright, so it looks like most people said Friday. You're gonna play some Snowrunner? Nice lightning. It's funny because it usually seems like that's what a lot of people are doing, but today we got a little bit of everything. Someone's playing some ARC, someone's playing some Expeditions, uh, someone's watching some YouTube videos. I forget what some of the other responses were. I think Matt Massidy was still working. Headline or not headlight? Oh, I mis misread that one, didn't I? Now I'm trying to look back to see where it was. 
thank you for that, Daniel. Um, headlining. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Ah, I cannot read. Okay, let's refuel this one. There we go. Completely full. We're halfway on our tank already. You had to drop the quality to 240? Oh my goodness. Your, your internet's fermented potatoes. Yikes. Yeah, mine is, mine is pretty terrible as well. I mean, I shouldn't say terrible anymore. Like, obviously I can stream. It's like pretty fast, but... I just can't can't stream at 1080 or anything better. All right, finally we have enough fuel to get out of here. Let's do fuel up the Acteon and then all of my roof rack and my truck. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, there we go. Brandon's playing it on his uh, PS4 Pro right now. Still on the porcelain throne. Nice. Alright, so we need these logs for as soon as we go through the gateway. Uh, this is actually from Daniel's Off-Road Gaming. From like two months ago, he told me that I should do this. <laughs> It's just taken us a while to to work through all the way to the point where we're leaving uh, Erska River here. Yeah, I think we drove this trailer up, delivered one set. I think this is the second set. I think it needs three or four sets of medium logs. I can't quite remember. It's been a while. You're at the gym. You'll be back later. Sounds good, Artem. Sneak by here. Looks like we got plenty of room. Uh, Brandon, then you should, or then you too should stay cab upwards. You snow snooting truck chuck. That was a interesting word combo there. Oh, it's three. So, uh, Brand, uh, what did I call you, Brandon? Daniel even remembers exactly how many I need. Oh, your stomach's made of iron. Taco Bell it doesn't do anything to me. Nice. Oh, Taco Bell is something. Hey, is Taco Bell in the UK? Is that a... Is that just an American thing? I don't know. I've never been over there. The same here. Remember, no eagle lifting, correct? Others... Others forms. Lessons is giving you the... Lessons is given the lessons. The Brotherhood of Iron demands it. Uh, Tank Baby, did you know that Taco Bell actually has a huge stake in a toilet maker? They own, a, they own a, a ton of shares in a, a toilet making company, so they they make you they make crap food just for you. That's why everyone always jokes about having to be on the toilet for them. You haven't eaten Taco Bell in forever. Surprisingly. For some reason, I'm, I can't remember if I did all the, uh, their kaputs. Your goat stomach is pretty good. I'm just kidding, by the way. I, w I was just giving it a little bit of time to see what, uh, see what Tank Baby or anybody else would say. I, I don't think they are. I was just joking. But it would be pretty funny if they had a huge stake in, like, a toilet maker. Like, here, you, here's all of our, our crappy food, so now you gotta run to the toilet. Oh, wait, you broke your toilet? Perfect, we got a new one for you. <laughs> we 
Okay, I think I did all the missions. I remember I had to bring some stuff in here. I think it was electric atmosphere or something. I had to bring some stuff in here. I think we're done with all that. My truck just shut off because my steering wheel's weird sometimes. I just remembered I have a pink toilet. It sounds like you have one of those uh, Barbie Playhouse toilets then. I'd rather cook authentic Mexican than taco turd. What color is it now? Lessons, I think you're you're a little bit more spoiled though. You guys have lots of Mexicans down there. Especially in uh I think you said oh shoot, we're starting to slide. I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh wait, wait, did we slip by? No way did it slip by. Oh wow. I don't know how we made it past that. Oh, now it's catching on that tree. Okay, fair enough. Three point three miles north of the border. Oh wow, that's that's kind of crazy how close you live. I didn't know it was that close. I mean, even if you were like a couple hundred miles, it was like, yeah, you still live pretty close. Like, you know, there's a lot of Mexican culture down there. But I mean, I remember when I went to uh, when I went to California, just the amount of people that spoke a different language, like something that I couldn't understand. I swear there was more people on the street speaking other languages than English than there was people speaking English, and I was like, oh, that's so weird. Like, uh, where I'm from is very not diverse. Like, it's just one ethnic group, pretty much. I'm getting stuck up on the street here. Your town has a bridge, five lanes, that's crazy. My, my town has a one-lane bridge. How's that? <laughs> oh shoot, I missed my turn again. Crap, I hate this spot. I keep forgetting that I, I missed that turn and I keep having to do this too. This is like the fourth time I've done this now, where I've missed the turn and have to go back. I'm trying to inch my way a little bit more inside. I think we can make this, right? Yeah, probably not the best way down, but I think we'll, we'll be okay. Mine has a one-lane drawbridge. Beat that. How about how about this tank, baby? Mine has a one one-lane bridge that's closed for part of the year because it's too dangerous to cross. And sometimes, how's that? Is that better? Sorry, I missed a bit. Your toilet has a one-lane drawbridge? Damn. <laughs> well, yeah, if you missed a little bit, that would that would be a pretty funny combination there. Uh, by the way, I'm just kidding about the uh, the one the one-lane bridge being closed half the year, or whatever. We do have. I'm trying to think. I know there's for sure two bridges. I think there's a couple. Because the river kind of goes back and forth around, but there's one on the main road, one a couple of roads over. What's crappening? <laughs> yes, for all these big deliveries. Isn't that called a toilet seat? That that would make sense. 
<laughs> You're off the shitter now. Alright, let's park this thing. I might need it for one of the other truck rescues. Wait, why am I why am I in the trucks? Okay, let's do the act. Yeah, that's the furthest away. Are you looking forward to the Fallout show? Yeah, I actually saw the previews for that the other day. I thought it was a, a new Fallout, like, uh... I think... I don't remember if I thought it was for a game. I think I did think it was for a game at first. I thought it was a new Fallout game. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's a Fallout movie. But yeah, I like the Fallout series. I've never beat any of the games, actually. They're all too big for me. I get too into it and just play it and play it and play it and never beat them. I'll do all kinds of side quests and get distracted left and right and never beat them, so... Uh, I played 3 for a long time. I played Fallout New Vegas for a little bit. I played 4 for a little bit. Uh, 4, my brother deleted my save file on accident. And then I was just like, screw that, I'm not going to put another 80 hours back into it. Even though I easily could have done it, but... I just didn't feel like redoing... I had like 80 hours in my save file and then lost it, so... I thought you are making them skittish. You guys are funny with the puns. I'm convinced that most of my conversations via text or Discord happen because one of us are on the toilet. That's funny. Okay, but I think you have beat in town population. Or I think I have you beat in town population. Yeah you do. I'm not I'm not entirely sure what my my town's population is, but it's I think it's around five thousand. Something like that. I could be I feel like I could be way off though. I don't really know. I can't believe JJ is saying no no words now. Uh I, I try to avoid it if I can. But sometimes I do. Like if, if you say something that I can read it and be like, put in it, replace it, or skip it, and still make sense, I usually do, but sometimes I just say it. As long as it goes better than Halo. Does Halo have a movie? I, you guys know me, I'm not much of a movie person, so I haven't seen if they do, but... Do they? Does Halo have a movie, Matt? Isn't there an Assassin's Creed movie as well, or wasn't there going to be, I think, maybe? Maybe there are- maybe it already happened. Probably. Park here. Now we can get step back. So the step is going to need to carry the maintenance add-on, isn't it? Because we already got the we already have the um, long log trailer, and we also have the medium logs with the six. The only other option would be to bring the Dan out here, but I don't want to bring the Dan out here just to it. Because this one can't attach to it, I have to winch it along, which I'm not really looking forward to doing that either. Uh, TV series and they revealed the Master Chief's face, which is uh, no non-canon. It hurts. Which is so non-canon. Yeah, that's like a, a, a definite, you can't do that kind of thing. They should have known that. Night, JJ. Have a good rest of your stream. Uh, thank you, Lightning Ninja. Thanks for stopping in for a little while. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of your night. I know you said you're playing some SnowRunner. Maybe you're uh, going to play more of that or off to bed or whatever, but appreciate it. Thank you for stopping in. Have a good rest of your night and see you again soon. J 
JJ, you're behind, behind, hind? Huh? Is my stream, like, slow or something? Is that what you're saying? Am I, am I like, way off from what you guys are talking about? We need to put JJ into some movies. Oh, maybe that's what you're saying I'm behind. Like, way behind on that. Okay, that makes sense. That movie is awesome. Grandma... Grammaton? Clerk? I don't know if, that, if I said that right. Fury? S no, not Siri. I don't know if you guys heard my phone. I said... Tank, maybe you got my phone to go with that, that one. I don't know if you heard it. She's like, uh-huh. I see you are a person of culture. No, not the Assassin's Creed movies. Good war films right there. Um, I've never heard of... I, I've heard of The Inglorious Bastards. I don't think I've seen it. I know it's like some World War II, like, crazy gun thing. You heard the phone? <laughs> nice. Yeah. I said I said the F and then kinda sounded like you heard it. Yeah, it's sitting right next to me charging and then it lit up when I said that. Yeah, you gotta come up you got you guys gotta come up with words for me to say that'll trick trick my phone. See see who see who can get it. But you, you, now I'm gonna be on the lookout, so you gotta sneak him in there like you know, when I'm when I'm not paying attention and get me like two streams from now or three streams from now. Alright, I'll leave this uh parked right here for a bit. I'll have to turn that trailer back around. Ziri? No, didn't didn't do it. Seriously? Oh wow, that didn't do it either. I even kind of, I kind of went into the the first part of that. Neither one of those did it. Uh, John Woo's Hard Boiled and Killers. Never heard of that. Classic Sci-Fi min Minority Report. Oh come on, what am I stuck on tree roots? Oh, there's a tree right there. I didn't didn't even see that one, like, bent over. Tilted sideways. Coming out of the ground at, like, a 35-degree angle or something. Blazing Saddles. I think I've heard of that one as well. It's gonna be hard to trigger it. I thought... I thought... For sure yours would. I was kind of... On tanks, I was like, yeah, maybe that'll get it. But yours, I was like, oh, that'll for sure... That'll for sure get it to go. But it didn't. Um, it's gonna be hard to trigger Siri Mobile. Didn't go. Did I ever play Pee Wee football? No, I didn't. Um, I played football one year in middle school, but I was always a really small kid, so I didn't. I was I was always fast, but. When I put the extra, like, 20 pounds of pads on, then I was like, oh my god, this is like, I'm so slow now. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't big, so... Yeah, the added weight slowed me down so much. Imagine if Blazing Saddles was a current movie to, in today's... You can't get that, or can't see that, Climate Man. Uh, those Blazing Saddles have a lot of, uh, what is it, uh, offensive, offensive terms nowadays, I guess. My name is Trinity. Those spaghetti westerns are hilarious. If I played football, I would have played left back. You had to drop it to 144. Oh man, Matt. That is brutal. I know when I had slow internet, when I would watch it at 240, and then I'd up it to like 480, I'm like, oh man, this is so much better. And then now that I have like much faster internet, 
it's uh like when you have like a 720 like even 720 it's like oh wow that's really good you know like i'm just so not used to it like i don't have i've never had good internet so and this like i said it's not great but it's far better than we used to have Okay, I think I might be in for it on this one. Let's see if I can get up on the hill a bit. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Trucking mosaics. Good comedy, aka not appropriate for the current society. You said, you said society, but I would say it's current society, right? It was okay back when it was made. Soon I'll be a stick figure theater. Oh shoot, I gotta, I gotta remember to take my turn here. I keep forgetting. So let's go right off to the side here. Oh, I didn't read the rest here. Is internet turning the stream into trucking mosaics? Nice. Oh uh, god, no. I remember when I played this, um, must have been, I think it was about a year ago, I played with a friend, and I used the, yeah, it was, it was a year ago, because season, season 8 had already come out, um, I was using the pike to deliver long logs, and that was really fun. I know I don't have the pike yet, but you guys know that's my favorite truck, so I can't wait to get that thing. Anyone ever watched Don't Look Up? Obviously you know my answer. Well, you probably know my answer. I have not. I don't know that I've ever even heard of it. Mateo says, is it good? Would you recommend it? You do, it has an absolutely stacked cast. Nice. Okay, here's a question. Where do you guys watch all of your shows? I know a lot of people watch on Netflix, but... Yeah, there you go, it's on Netflix, this thing, baby. Do you watch on Netflix? Do you watch on Hulu? Do you watch on Amazon Prime? Um, I'm curious, where do you guys watch your shows mostly? Let's see, uh, let's see where... I'm assuming most people will say Netflix, but let's see where everyone watches from. Like what's coming in two weeks with the eclipse? Ooh. Throw some more fuel in the step there. Probably gonna need it more than this truck will. Prime, Max, and Paramount. Uh, what is. Is it HBO Max? I think, right? So, Amazon Prime. You're boycotting it now? Why are you boycotting Amazon Prime, Matteo? All my nephew's accounts. Nice. Oh no. Oh boy, almost almost did it again. I don't have the money for streaming. My entertainment comes from YouTube or cable TV. So I'm in the same boat as you, Daniel. I watch pretty much just on YouTube. I don't we don't have anything any kind of TV services uh here either, so it's basically I watch on YouTube or I don't watch anything. I don't have Netflix. Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, Paramount Plus, Disney Plus, anything out there you can think of, don't have it. 
so. But yeah, I was just kind of curious where everyone else watches their shows from, so. Local TV is on the TV, but it's in the back. It's the background noise. Okay. I watch a lot of Discovery Plus. Do they have a Discovery Plus now? I mean, I guess you just said they do, but I didn't know that they had that. Uh, plus YouTube on my second monitor, pretty much always. Uh, that's that's me and Daniel. Always got the YouTube on. Uh, and game on my main monitor. You're 63 and retired and play. Very nice. Well, congratulations on your retirement. You're gonna go take a shower and be back? Sounds good. Robert, you just watch on YouTube as well. Okay, so we got a couple people in here who mainly just watch YouTube. I suppose I could have included like Twitch in there or Kick or something because quite a few of you guys watch streamers. I watched a little bit on Twitch before, but I don't have an account, so I can't comment. I, I probably only watched like twice, but... Yeah, I remember I was going to comment, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right, I don't have an account. And I didn't feel like making one, so... But yeah, I normally just watch YouTube. That's my main, main source. Sounds peaceful, I agree. I'm guessing based on your name, Whelan Geezer TV, that you used to be a truck driver of some sort, Whelan, or maybe a side hobby, Whelan in an RV or something. I have no idea. All right, let's turn this on. I, I feel like I should probably park around here because I've been having a lot of struggles with this area. And if I have winch in a trailer, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably use a bigger truck. This one, we found out earlier, this one's probably not the right truck for the job. I'm, I'm the same. Laptop, tablet, smart TV, all plugged in. Plugged into the world. I don't watch TV. It's been eight years. Only books, YouTube, computers. Okay. So it seems like probably about half of you guys are just, uh, or watch a lot of YouTube, but... Quite a few of us are only YouTube. Hey, ATO. Nice to see you again. I saw you all over in the telemedicine stream earlier, right at the end there. So what is currently going on is we're running this truck down to the lake and then up we're kind of just parking most of our trucks. I got one one more truck off behind me with a trailer that I got to bring. We're Basically we're headed to the other map now. We, we completely beat uh, Northern Ages installation. I think we're done with Erska River if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to check it here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I think we're completely done with this map as well. I think everything else is in Cherno and Cosmodrome. So... Oh, it's Weezen. I didn't even... Yeah, I wasn't... I'm terrible at reading names. Or uh, I shouldn't say reading names, reading in general. I look over and I think I see Whelan. But uh, Weezen, because I used to smoke two packs of cigarettes a day... Four packs a day on the weekend. Holy cow. Wasn't quite wheezing, but was headed that way. Haven't smoked six in years. Well, congratulations on that one as well. But yeah, I can't... I'm so bad at reading... Like, I look over and I think I see... Like, I guess my, my brain just fills in the blanks of what I want to see sometimes. It's like, oh, he's wheeling. But... Definitely not. Now that I look over, I'm like, yeah, I... was seeing things. Uh, but yeah, ATL, I think we're we're basically out. We're kind of getting our trucks in a sort of a moving party. You also enjoy the devil's lettuce. Nice. All right. Now we got one one last truck. So let's check. So that's in Cherno. That's in Cherno. 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 
Cherno. All that's Cherno. Cosmo. Oops, I think that was Cherno. Yeah, Cherno, Cherno, Cherno. This is Cherno. I remember that. Cosmodrome, Cosmo, Cosmo, Cherno, 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 and Cherno. So yeah, we're done with everything. Let me just quick check the tasks here. Erska River. And yeah, that's all of them. So we are completely done with Erska River. And at the bottom here we got Northern. And we got a couple of, couple of here and there done in Cosmodrome when we went over there for a bit uh, to go get the six. So, yeah, we are 49% done. We got two, two of the maps done. Um, now we gotta go, we gotta get this trailer, this big rocket trailer, out of here. And then we also gotta, gotta get all of our trucks out of here. What we do want, um, Obviously, we want this long log trailer. We're going to need that again. We want the logs that so we're going to fix this bridge right here. We need three of them. I think we've only brought one, if I'm not mistaken. This log crossing. So that'll be two. Actually, I think I can check, right? Yeah, we brought one there, so we got to bring two more there. Of course, it's gonna be the last one, right? Yeah. But yeah, we got uh, this trailer to fix up some trucks. We got the long log trailer because we're gonna need that for later. And then the medium logs, like I said, to fix that, that gap. So we're kind of getting some stuff back as so you go to Cosmodrome. But next video, we will br be bringing the rocket trailer or it might even, it's probably going to take two into two videos, if I'm being honest. Because I don't think we're going to get that thing to go there very easily in one go. I could be wrong. But I feel like it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a tough go, for sure. Always good, gotcha. If I can go to the left here a bit. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of funny almost how, how often I misread the chat. I think I think I read one thing and I look back and I was like, yeah, I don't know where I saw that from. Watch Storm of Iron and some others on Twitch. Okay, Daniel. Yeah, I was just kind of curious who else watches Twitch because I know you guys are a lot of watching uh, Twitch or Kick or whatever, you know, some kind of live streaming sites. Um... Or a mixer. I can't, I can't really think of anything else. Um, and all we do is time and what we're... All we are is time and what we do with it. Says lessons. Me Too lessons started when I was nine. Told people when they made it legal, I wasn't breaking the law all those years. I was just a man ahead of his time. That's funny. You're like, see, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it's legal now. You guys should have listened to me 30 years ago. I never played Mudrunner or Snowrunner, but bought exhibitions after watching a few of your videos, so I've watched many of your videos. Okay. Well, glad to have you here. I I came into Snowrunner right at launch, but I had never played Mudrunner before, so I feel like you're kind of in the same boat as I was, but you're on the next generation of game, I guess, like the next in the series, kind of. Because a lot of people here had played Spin Tires or Mud Runner, and then, I, like I said, I joined when Snow Runner came out, and then now a lot of people have joined when Expeditions came out. So I kind of I kind of relate. Like I'm, I missed a bunch of the other stuff that it has come out with the other older games, but I do have Mud Runner now, and I do want to go back and play some of the other maps. Still, I've posted a couple of them on here. I think I've only streamed it once. But, uh, exactly. <laughs> I think I've only streamed it once. I would like to go back and play a little bit more. I have, like, four or five videos on it before I could stream. It sucks. It's still a Schedule 1, just like Hero. And, uh, I'm not gonna finish it. 
But yeah, I know what you're saying there, Lessons. You started playing in 2020 when SnowRunner came out. Okay, so Matteo and me are about the same. Uh, Blizzy and Peach Moonshine, back in the day. Now it's broccoli and coffee. Funny. It's been great, and honestly, I think I'm trying Expeditions. Now that they added SnowRunner controls. Yeah, they were supposed to add SnowRunner controls today, Matteo, but I guess they... I don't know, for some reason they pushed it back to tomorrow, so it'll probably be tomorrow morning would be the update for it. I think normally they happen early, like 7 a.m. my time, so probably like noon, 1 o'clock-ish your time, I think, normally. They changed the controls? They didn't change it. I think they gave you the option to have the SnowRunner controls. So they didn't officially change it, but it, it, they're making it an option so you can switch it if you want back to SnowRunner controls. Because the controls are a little bit weird. Like to, to turn off your truck, you click, you hold RB and you push Y. Whereas on here you can push LB and you push A. So it's kind of like flip-flop, so it really messes with people. Finally went out of date for the longest time, ended up getting her snap. Nice. Oh, and Insta and Number. Oh, you got, got all three. She wants to go again on Thursday and Saturday. Wish me luck, boys. Well, good luck, Tank. Just so happens to be your friend's sister. Uh, honestly, that's not, not really that uh, uncommon. Like, quite often you'll find that people dated their sister's friends or brother's friends or whatever. It's pretty normal. My brother's wife is actually, uh, was one of my sister's friends. She was so mad at him for dating her. <laughs> and now they're married and have four kids. And they've been married for like, probably almost a decade. I'm not even sure at this point, but a long time. Man, we're really struggling with this, this trailer here. A Bronx Tale great movie. Please come up. Oh, nice, it's coming through. We got it. Get it done. Remember, if she doesn't lean over and open the door for you, don't take her, take her home. <laughs> She hates you for it. Or wait, hang on a second, I gotta read that again. It's your friend's sister. Oh, I I kind of read that wrong. I thought it was your your sister's friend. So again, I, I misread it, your, your friend's sister, okay. He hates you for it, but we're still bros, yeah. Secondhand Lions, also a great movie. Never heard of that. Thank you, Matt. Good luck. Hope it turns out. Yeah, same here. We only had one friend with a hot sister, but they were a little too touchy as brother and sister. It was weird. <laughs> That's funny. The lessons you are funny. I know you're being serious, but it's just kind of... The way you say stuff sometimes is funny. Just gotta get up over this hill. No, it's kind of weird. So I, I graduated. Obviously, you guys know I'm, I'm from a pretty small, uh, small town. I think my graduating class was like really touched to everything but where I wanted to go. I think it's like, uh, I want to say less than 210. I want to say it was like 206, 207, something like that. Um, but both of my brothers 
uh, dated a girl in my grade, and now they're both married to girls that were in my grade. I went to I went to high school with both of my brother's wives. They were in my grade, so it's kind of weird. Oh, I guess I was lucky lessons. I got another friend with a hot stepsister and mom. <laughs> uh, clean house tank, baby. That's funny. All right, let's see if we can get down here without making it too slow. Uh, JJ, personal question, but feel free not to answer. Do you also date? Uh, yeah, I am dating. Uh, I have, I have somebody I'm seeing, but we're not, like, official. Personally, I have stopped about two years ago, after my last breakup, just focusing on work since then. Yeah, that's, I mean, it sounds like you're, you got a good, good, uh, good head on your shoulders there, Matteo. Not, not just saying everybody should do that, but... From what you've said, you know, you're, you're kind of starting your own business and whatever, like, it sounds like you're doing pretty well for yourself. I know you you said you're, you're taking a lesser salary to try and, you know, make ends meet and stuff right now, but that's how you got to start. So I, I think you're doing, you're doing just, you know, probably what you should be doing. Focusing on your work and eventually that'll come. Um... I could go for a cinnamon roll right now. Looking for that cinnamon ring. Ah. Lessons. I work with the dad so I could probably bag him too. <laughs> Well, we finally made it back up. I actually used a lot less fuel than I thought we would. Appreciate that, JJ. It's been a long journey, but it'll be worth it in the end. Definitely. It's, uh, it's, it's a not... I mean, most people don't, don't want to take that leap, Matt, right? And I think a lot of times later in life, they kind of probably regret not, not trying some of those things, because... If you try it and you fail, okay, you go back and work a normal 9 to 5, what's the, like, you know, you, you tried. Like, maybe you'd still have some regrets of like, oh, I wish I would have done this different or that different, but at the end of the day, at least you tried, so. Let's pull this a little bit. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, really? But yeah, it's a pretty hard, uh, pretty hard market out there from, from what I hear. The best bit is the amount of people you help along the way. That's what it's all for, to be honest. Gotcha. Exactly, Chief, you get it. Uh, yeah, before this, I was single for about one to two years. The best thing I could have done. Yeah, like I said, I think it's a pretty hard dating market out there right now. It's funny, because I, I can remember back when I was a kid and people were like, Oh, the world's going to shit, you know, like... I always thought they were kind of, like, joking, but... It's weird to see how things have transformed over my lifetime, you know? Like... Yeah, it's just, now I can kind of see why they say that, because they're like, oh, back when I was a kid, oh my gosh, 87 damage right there. I was trying to dodge it too. But yeah, people would say like, back when I was a kid, we did this, this, and this, you know, whatever. And it's like, yeah, but it's not the times anymore. It kind of used to defend it when you were, when I was a kid anyways. But then now it's like, oh yeah, things are, things are way different now. They're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to realize that tank, baby. They're not wrong. At least in the West. 
Man, this Amir music got me all blobbering. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand you, uh, Matt. There's definitely a time and a place, you know. But like you said, you, you get to do some traveling and stuff right now. I think that'd be really cool. Oh, my, my front tires popped. I'm, oh, I can't attach to this either, can I? I can't fix my truck because I can't attach to the trailer. So I'll have to bring out a different truck to attach to it. Oh, shoot. Why am I going? Ah, uh, whatever. It's like, why am I going this way? But I guess it does make sense. If we're going through the gateway, I probably got to go all the way up here then. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I would love to travel. I just haven't really, haven't really gone anywhere other than Canada. Uh, well, I've gone, I've gone to a bunch of different states. I know I told this before. I've been on a road trip. Uh, I went my, I went my, like going into my senior year, and then I went on another road trip after I graduated my senior year. And so I've been to 18 different states over the course of like six weeks I think um, and that was fun but I've only other the only other country that I've been to is Canada and I was kind of touching on this earlier is like the United States is so big that you can like travel a bunch of different states and it's like the culture is generally the same but the the like climate can be way different That's right, we got a tank up here. We got a little Tuz. Let's drop this and get out of here. The Tuz can pull this thing, I don't need to pull it anymore. If I can get over to the side of the road or anything. All right, let's park it right about here. I tell kids that I'm so old that when I was a kid, the world was still in black and white. Wow, JJ 18 states, that is a lot. It is pretty good, yeah. I've, I've been to the uh, most most of the west coast. A uh, little bit, little bit, I went a little bit to the east because the, the first road trip I went on was kind of uh, just a couple of states to the east, sort of. And then the other one we went we went to the west and we went a lot further. Like the first one was like two weeks and the second one was like a month. But yeah, I've been to 18 out of the 50, so that's pretty good. Or I think it's pretty good anyways. But eventually I think it'd be cool to go like all over the world, travel to a bunch of different places, but obviously that takes a ton of money and a ton of time and it seems like most people got one or they got the other, but nobody's really got both. Like, you'll have the money, but you don't got the time, or you got the time, but you don't got the money. So... Because you'll be far from the toilet? Wait, I miss what, what did he say? I might have to go put in a towel in my car for the next date. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Too much Taco Bell? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I know my sister has been to Florida. I've never been to Florida. Uh... My, actually my same sister has been to Hawaii as well. Uh, she went, my, my other sister lives in Hawaii, so. I've never been to Hawaii, but my, my sister, oh my gosh, my, my logs. Oh my gosh. Oh no. 
How did I manage that? Oh, yikes. I kind of don't want to detach because I might make it worse. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. Oof. Uh, night all. Take care. Speak to you soon. Thank you, Robert. Have a good night yourself. Thank you for stopping in, and yeah, hopefully we uh, see you again soon. Probably will. Go to a forested freshwater lake. Hawaii is overrated. Yeah, I've never been there. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Lessons, didn't you tell me that you, your sister or something lives there as well? Or maybe you've been there? I remember you told me a long time ago. I kind of forget. I think you said your, your sister or brother or something lives there, if I'm not mistaken. Log that accident. Better log that accident. All right, let's see if we can sneak through here. Very nice. All right. We got some fuel in the truck here. The corn is strong with this one. Wow, what a time to wake up to the stream. Am I stuck on a rock or what is this? Yep. Okay, interesting spot. Well, welcome to the stream, South Bang. I know it's a little bit of an odd time, but my nephews are off this whole week from school, and they eat up all the bandwidth, all the internet connection. So, yeah, this week we'll probably be streaming late all week. We'll fill up the step and the Zix. I'll throw my uh, roof rack fuel in there as well. Yeah, my sister works there in Maui for USDA. Okay, that's what it was. I remember you told me it was something there. My sister actually used to live in Maui as well. So that's pretty funny. They, they might have actually, like, ran into each other and not, not known, like, what a small world it is, isn't it? Like, they probably have, because Maui's pretty small. But she just got transfer approved for stateside. Okay. Um... Was your, was your sister okay for that, that huge fire in Hawaii? Um, oh, sorry, I, I remember seeing this one from Mateo before it gets off my chat. Um, I didn't read it all. Or I didn't read it out loud, even. Um, JG, if you ever find yourself in Germany or UK or Italy, hit me up. Happy to spare a room for some local spots. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Mateo. Thanks, Mateo. No worries, JJ. Um, not back in the office until the 2nd of April. I remember you saying that you had the whole week off from, uh, like, an Easter... You took a, took a little bit of vacation until after Easter's over. Oops. Your sister's 6'4", 215? That's pretty big. That's bigger than me. Probably bigger than most people. Ex-military survivalist. My type of lady, says Tank. Oh, oh no, we're slipping. But yeah, my sister actually, they moved out of Maui after that big fire. I'm pretty sure most people have probably heard of it. But uh, yeah, they had a, a really big fire in Hawaii. I don't remember even how long ago. It was like two years ago, a year ago? Something like that. But uh, yeah, my sister lived in Maui, which is the island where the fire was at. Luckily, it was on the other side of the island. But they decided to move off the island anyways. Part of your job is also USDA, okay.
That fire was brutal. I heard it was the U.S. government. I heard the U.S. government has barely fixed it. Yeah, it's... I don't know. From what I heard, and I don't know if this is right or not. This is not coming from my sister. This is just news articles that I've read, but... Um, a lot of the residents there, you know, they've been there for a long time. They're like native Hawaiians. I mean, obviously there's some people who are not, but a lot of them are. And now that they had their houses burnt down and stuff, they can't, um, the value of the property is way higher than what the house, like, would have been worth because people want to build new houses there. And so they're basically getting priced out. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but yeah, they're, they're all pretty mad and they're not really being compensated, I guess, for... Ouch. Oh no, don't flip the Dan. They're not really being compensated. And so they're kind of... They're basically building new houses there and selling them because the people who live there can't afford to, like, build a new house and they're not getting enough money to kind of build what they had, so they're... Like you said, they barely fixed it. If you even want to call it that. Yikes, my trade is almost going. Those people, man, they got sold out by their own king because he was, oh, promised a seat at the table. Yeah, I don't really know much of the history of the, the Hawaiian Islands, but... The logistics of getting aid to Hawaii has also also has its challenges, definitely. Everything there is super expensive. Alright, I think I'm actually going to park the logs here on the roadside. Hopefully I don't regret this. Like I don't bump it over or something. Okay, let's detach this. Now I'm going to go back and get a saddle high so we can carry that rocket trailer out of here. Went up to pay after dinner and said to the young girl, You do take Hawaiian money, don't you? She looked so confused. Or she looked confused till I said, They're part of the U.S. They use the same money we do. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Probably didn't know, like, yeah, she probably thought you were a dumb tourist or something. Was like, does this guy really think we don't take American money? Like, what? what was this guy thinking? And they remove everyone's Second Amendment? That's nuts. Really? Alright, let's go down here. You're just in time for the fun part. I think we're going to leave the fun part fun part for tomorrow, Daniel. Or, well, actually, no, it wouldn't be tomorrow. I'm not sure when we'll do it next, because tomorrow I think I'll play Expeditions. And then I think, I mean, sometime this week I'm pretty sure PTS is going to hit. And we'll probably play that for a day or two. So this might even be next week when we get back around to this. But I'm going to go get the, go get the uh, saddle low and go get, go all the way to the trailer. But yeah, I was planning on stopping at like 11, 11.30 tonight. The the later stream's got to end a little bit earlier than the other one. I'm serious, I've had young girls start to look back at their manager. Oh, I believe it. I believe they were super confused. They are probably like, is this guy real? Like, does he actually think we have our own money? Minimalist life. My father taught us everything in the army. Taught him during the 60s. Okay. Yeah, I did. I said fun fart. I sure did, Tank. That was, uh, that was a little bit of a mess up. It's the fun fart. Hawaiian pizza? In Hawaii, it's called pizza. <laughs> I never thought about that one. Amir is brutal. 
Spent 10 hours over two sessions, only managed four tasks in Northern Ages installation. I believe he did, says uh, Matt. Yeah, I definitely did. As I said it, I'm like, yep, I messed that up. Oh, you show them a dollar coin, they'll call the Secret Service. That's funny. I think I still have a couple of those. Actually, so do you guys want to know why those were discontinued? Or does anybody know why they were? Some Somebody might know. I actually just recently found this out. Oops. Oh. Pineapple does belong on pizza, says Lessons. Does anybody know why the Sacagawea dollars in the United States were discontinued? Hawaiian pizza in Italy is called sacri sacrilege. That's funny, but it's true. They hate you if you put uh, pineapple on pizza. I've heard that. All right, let's do the saddle high. There we go. And this time, I believe we can go the faster route back. Because we don't have the trailer, the log trailer this time. What was the issue with the dollar coin? Okay, so here is the problem. The United States wanted to... They wanted those dollars to be used. I don't remember exactly why they wanted them to be used, but... Um, people basically didn't want more change in their pockets, so they were trying to incentivize people to use them. So they said, okay, for every dollar that you spend, like if you buy these coins, we'll give you, like, we'll give you a dollar back for it. And so basically, you, you, you got your money, like, you, you didn't lose any money from buying them, basically. <coughs> and people, what people were doing was buying a ton of them. And they were, they were, uh, they were, they were buying, they would, they, the, okay, so here's the, the part that really got them, is you could buy them on credit. They allowed people to buy them on credit. What that meant was people were using credit cards, buying loads of these dollars, and then putting them back in the bank at the same price they bought them for, because, you know, you paid a dollar and they get it for a dollar, like there was no markup. And so people were spending thousands and thousands of dollars and then buying them on a credit card, taking them right back to the bank and then getting like tons of money cash back or like free flights or whatever you whatever your credit card offered at the time but yeah people were taking massive advantage of it that that is why so yeah little uh history lesson i guess did it have to do with the silver? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, it was... Uh, basically because they, they allowed people to buy it with credit card because they wanted people to adopt it so badly. And it really backfired. So it's kind of their own, their own fault, really, that, that it kind of uh, spiraled out of control, I guess you could say. Always looking for balance in the universe. I put pineapple and black olives on pizza. Oops, sorry guys. Stuck on a rock here trying to go. Silver stackers do that. They buy rolls of coins from the bank, go through them. Uh, roll them up and sell them back to the bank. I, I believe that. I know there's, I've seen videos of people who, uh, they'll, they'll go to the bank and they'll just ask for, like, rolls of quarters or pennies or whatever it is, and they'll look through them just to see, like, you know, if there's, like, a misprint or this or that or whatever, but, um, uh, yeah, I guess you can make a lot of money doing that if you know exactly what you're looking for, but I have zero clue what I'm looking for. Be right back. You got to eat something to stay awake. Work deadline in three hours. Oh, man. Double casualty on that one.
Uh, good night, Daniel. Thank you for stopping in. I'm, like I said, I'm not sure when we'll do this one, but it'll that the uh, the Zix and the the rocket will definitely be the picture. So yeah, thumbnail. Yeah, and some of the details are so small. Sorry, I missed part of this again. Um, yep, I purchased ten dollar rolls of silver quarters from the banks. Nice. Don't they look for special coins? Yeah, that's what they do. They look for like misprints or like I don't I don't know the terms, but like where they were like double double stamped or whatever, like you know stuff like that. Or like sometimes like um, like they'll, they'll make a run of something and then they'll switch it and you know do another run of something else. Every once in a while, one will get like stuck in a corner or you know something like that. Like they don't they don't know that it got stuck there, and so there might be like. I don't know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand of a certain coin that's, you know, super rare that was never supposed to happen, but it kind of got stuck in there. The reason I say fun part, uh, it was a nightmare when I did it. Yeah, for me too. It was pretty hard. That's why I don't really want to start it in this one and go go to it next stream, so hopefully I'm, I got a whole stream to do it next time. Yeah, looking for flaws. I have friends that do that on live streams. Oh, really? Double stamped, reversed, etc. Okay, yeah, I don't know all the uh, the terms for it. I actually said this just just a couple of streams ago because uh, South Bank's donation was um, Norwegian kroner, which I found out at the time because I don't I don't I'm not too versed in that kind of stuff, but. I've always thought it'd be kind of cool to have a bunch of different currency. Because the US is kind of plain and boring. Actually, let me stop this quick. I gotta switch trucks. This one is still running. There we go. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like all kinds of different currency. I was curious to see what the strongest currency was compared to the US dollar. It's actually Kuwait right now, anyways. Every dollar or whatever you want to say in Kuwait, I don't remember what the what the uh, currency is called, but um, every one US dollar switched over to there would be like three dollars. But then if you switch it to like, I think it was Iran. Iran had the, the worst currency currently. It's worth like 370,000 of their currency. <laughs> I don't know how much that can buy, but that's that's crazy that it's that that much. All right, I'm going to park this right here. Repair. Yeah, we'll just repair all. Detach. Uh, what time do you think about ending the stream? Yeah between now and the next half hour I'll probably just drive trucks around for another half hour or something because uh, we gotta move the plan is to move this truck these this pile of trucks this one this one get all these trailers and kind of get everything over to this gateway because we're gonna take this rocket trailer out of here and into the next map and then we're gonna start working on Cosmodrome so we're kind of just sort of a more of a logistics episode really this one is But yeah, I think I'll probably stop close to the town because we'll have, we'll fix up all our trucks before we go to the next map because you can, it's pretty close there. Um, and we'll fuel them up at the fuel station there before we go to the next map as well. Okay, you're gonna get a cold glass of milk and snuggle up then, nice. Sounds good. Yeah, my brother was a big precious metals hunter with his metal detectors. That sounds like it would be kind of a fun hobby. If you if you live by a busy place, like just walking down to the beach or something and metal detecting or like up a river or, you know, something like that, it'd be kind of fun. Back with YM... Oh, my, I think you... 
got a little too excited, maybe, and typed too fast. I did that all the time. Coconut water and raisins. Very nice. Alright, let's see if we can fix this truck up at all. Uh, it's not close enough. There we go. It's 54 damage. Oh yeah, that tire, that's right. It took like... Yeah, I think it was like 32 and 22 or something. See what else do I got? Tatrin over here. You slept standing up there good. Whoa. Oh, I was attached to the front of my truck. I was like, whoa, look at that road chunk right there. Sticking up. Do you guys see that? Check out this chunk of road right in front of my Tuz in a second. Look at this. I guess maybe that's not a road chunk, but... Interesting. Alright. It's weird, I've slept in between two blankets with a sheet underneath them. What? Is it weird to sleep between two blankets with a sheet underneath them? I've been called weird for that. I don't think it's weird. Probably not normal, but... I mean, if you sleep with a blanket under you... And a blanket on top of you, it's probably warmer than just a, a sheet. Money was good and people are weird. During COVID lockdowns, I would offer sentry services to paranoid people. So what is sentry services? Alright, let's go over here. See if we can get fixed up by the Zix with these two trucks. Oh, the Warthog needs quite a bit. 60. Tetra needs one. So I got 38 and three tires left. What's this last truck here? 310E, there we go. Oh, nice, this one has a tire popped. Oh, you would guard the... Oh, that's what you mean by sentry services. Okay, you'd guard their property while they slept. That's funny. Oh, it goes right through it. Interesting. I know what you mean about standing up sleeping back when I worked in Tokyo. I would sleep just four hours a night and became used to sleeping on train standing up. That's crazy. A Revere, four hours ready for another 24. The human body is capable of so much in... Whoa. What on earth? That's a big rock. In different circumstances. Yeah, it's kind of weird how your body adapts to stuff, isn't it? Or even, even your brain too, like if you, you know, if you grow up in a certain circumstance and then you, like, you get changed to something drastically different, it's like, well, this is weird, like, this is all I've ever known. You know, like if you grew up poor and then you had a lot of money or grew up thinking the world was one way and then got out of that country and it's like totally different. Alright, let's see. 76 more, okay. Completely fix that and the tire. Okay. I would say we can probably leave that trailer here now. On average, how much caffeine was consumed in one day? Eight cups? Oh my goodness. Eight cups in a 24 hour period. 
The rest was hypervigilance, like my dad taught us. That's crazy. So like every three hours-ish, you'd have a, a new cup of coffees. So by the time you're, you're about to crash, you'd get another one and then prevent the crash. Get another one. This seems so weird to me that we're leaving this, this map now. It just feels like I have a bunch more to do because I kind of started on it and then, well, like we, we did a little bit, then we went to Cosmodrome to get the six and then we did a little bit more and then we went to uh, Northern to finish all that off and then we came back and we did a little bit more. And so now it just feels like we never really did it was so spaced out, it doesn't feel like we did it all. Hello, Zavi, yes. Um, hey, Artem, welcome back. All right, let's use the Taiga. Actually, Artem, that go well. Oh, your coffee is darker than Guinness. I have mistakenly had a thousand milligrams of caffeine at one time. Oh my gosh. That can't be healthy. I used to be young and poor, but I can say after many years of hard work, I'm no longer young. <laughs> That's good. Anyone here know Melstroy? I don't know if I even said that right. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, no. I don't know if that's a person, if that's like a... I don't know, some kind of a class or something? I have no idea, Artem. I don't know if it's a town. I don't know if I should know that word. You had to reread it, lessons? That's pretty funny, yeah. It's like, eh, I'm no longer young, but I'm still poor. Not where I thought it was going. You said it just fine, okay. Yeah, my friend told me it was a new energy drink, did a little, or a little did I know, consisted of 200 milligrams, or, yeah, it consisted of 200 milligrams energy drink and a 400 milligram pre-workout, wow. Two 200 milligrams, okay. Oop. It's a guy, he's not particularly good, he's Russian. Oh, is it? Is it a SnowRunner player, I'm guessing, then? He's starting to pop up in American memes. Okay, I've never, never heard of him. No lie, had me jittering for two days. That's not good. No good. Like, what? what is an average cup of coffee? Like, if you were to get a medium cup, like, wherever you went. I know it's obviously different from place to place, but... And I guess it's probably even different country to country. Take some PCP, you'll be up for days. No, not a SnowRunner player. Oh, okay, yeah, I suppose you said American memes. Oh. Darn it. Looked away quick. I saw uh, Tank Baby laughing at lessons. Rather smoke a bowl and call it a night. No, I, no idea. I drink quad shot espressos all day. Uh, I guess I was just curious, like, what the uh, caffeine content of a, a normal, like, average cup of coffee would be. I'm not sure what, like, a baseline would be. I don't know if it's like 40 or something milligrams. I have no idea. 
PCP in the 80s. Woo. Oh, that's nice. I flipped it right back over. Oh, whoa. Did you guys see that? My truck just jumped back on its feet for me. That was cool. Uh, it's a D-Rug. Oh, I could, uh, I could probably hook this up on here. That would be smart. Hello, Chelco. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Whoa is right. Don't even bring that up. You never tried it? Your dad used to be a mechanic for the Banditos. Oh, wow. Motorcycle club. And they were nuts. Yeah, I believe that 100%. I do not doubt that. I know I'm switching trucks all the time here. I'm trying to move them all. What, what else we got over here? Acteon? Oh, the Acteon's still way back here. All right, we gotta get that one up there. You doing good? Awesome. So yeah, this is our uh, hard mode. Probably most people know, but playing it on hard mode, we are playing it all in order. We have quite a few rules, to be honest, but uh, most of them are just there to kind of make it more of a challenge. So one of them is trying to beat it without using chained tires. Uh, we're trying not to recover, so we've had no recovery so far through seven seasons. Seven and a half. We're 49% uh, done here in Amir. Um, we're only using Russian Russian vehicles in Russian regions. Um, North American vehicles in North American regions. Uh, no buying trucks. No having duplicates of any trucks, so we're only using the trucks we find. If we find a duplicate, we have to sell it. Uh, what other rules do we got? I mean, I haven't repaired my truck at the garage yet. It's not really a rule, but I mean, at this point, I might as well make it a rule. No repairing at the garage. Um, yeah, I might, might have missed something, but... I don't know if I said I'm playing it all in order, but yeah. No uh, no skipping around regions or anything like that. We're starting from the bottom, all the way back in Michigan, playing all the way to the, to the end, so. Yeah, it's been good so far. We've uh, never had to recover, which is fun. Haven't had to use chain tires. That's been difficult at times, but I think it's more of a fun challenge. They were cool dudes, just don't touch their woman, their money, or whatever else was on the menu. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wait, no way. No way, how on earth did I just say that? That is crazy. I don't know how I did that. If you guys missed it, you'll have to rewind. I don't know how that got saved, to be honest. What are you looking into for phase five? I can't wait to get a bigger vehicle uh, for the Russian side for fuel tanks, because I got these little small ones. Save of the century. Okay, you think you're gonna call it a night? Sounds good, tank baby. We'll probably be off here in about 15. Nice. The save, by tank. Yep, by tank, have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Uh, 
I'm like I said, I don't know what we'll be streaming exactly this week. It might be Expeditions tomorrow. It might be SnowRunner Season 13. I don't think it'll be hard mode tomorrow, but it could be. But yeah, it'll either be uh, Season 12, or excuse me, Season 13 PTS, uh, Season 4 hard mode, or Expeditions. So one of the three. All those rules does not make it easier. Yeah, definitely don't make it easier on the rules. We're trying to make it more of a challenge. I, I actually don't think so, Mateo. What do you think? Still sick with a light cold? Oh, or still sick, sorry. Man, you've been sick forever, bad boy gamer. Hopefully, hopefully you get better. Hello everyone from Bad Bug Gamer. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think it'll be Russian. My my reasoning is they haven't had a Russian map since the invasion of Ukraine. Tatra is considered Russian. No, um, well, so the way that I'm 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 doing it in my head, uh, Artem, and this is how it how I originally had planned this playthrough to go is whatever region the vehicles are available in, that's going to be the region that we play with the trucks. So, because um, because you get the Tatras in the Russian region, and the Tatras are available when you're in Russian regions, such as the, well, I guess the Glades doesn't count, but if you go to, like, Tamir, or if you go to Amir here, or, you know, one of the other maps where you can buy Russian trucks, the Tatras are available. So... In my mind, they're 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 kind of Russian for this playthrough, if you will. All I hear is jealousy, Artem. I need to leave the room. Lessons. Wait, Lessons says I farted and my dog left the room. Good memory. <laughs> that is pretty funny. You were hoping it's going to be a new region overall. Um. Like more of a Europe or maybe something like Africa or Asia, but happy whichever. Yeah, I, to be honest, I hope they go to more different regions, but I'm kind of basing mine on the past, and the past has been basically they've only ever really done Europe and North America. They, obviously, they did go to Scandinavia in season 11, so that was a change, but I just. Mostly th those are what they've done, so that's kind of what I'm sticking to as well. Like, if they started to... If the next, like, two or three regions were, were completely different, like maybe they went to India, and then Australia, and then South Africa, then I'd be like, okay, this last one could be anywhere, you know? Because then they've shown that they're, they're willing to go anywhere, right? But so far, they haven't really shown us that they're willing to go to a bunch of different places. It's pretty much just been either Russia or North America, so United States or Canada. But yeah, ever since the uh, Russian of, Russian invasion of Ukraine, there's been no Russian maps. Because that started when Season 6 had come out. Uh, a couple months after Season 6. I want to say three months-ish. Because January, February, two and a half. Okay. And ever since then, they, ha they haven't had a single Russian region, so I don't see them making any more. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I just don't see it. I think it's it's either American or European would be my guesses. But yeah, I guess uh, let me know what you guys think. There's only three real snow regions of SnowRunner, so adding another snow map is good. Yeah, it sounds like season 15 will be the all snow map. And I guess we'll find out probably by the end of the week. Well, actually, no. They, he already confirmed that this season wasn't, I think. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure he said this season was not an all-snow map. I feel like I read that, but sometimes I read, read a bunch of stuff and then I forget what's for what. You know, I get mixed up. When is season 13 PTS? Um, it's... He was asked about it today, and his reply was that it won't be today, but it'll be it'll be soon, I think it said. 
So, we had a poll here earlier in the chat of when people thought it would be. I think we had one for phase, or excuse me, one for Wednesday. So in like two days, we had two for Thursday and five for Friday. So most people thought it would be Friday, including myself. I actually think I threw out the date Friday, like a month and a half or two months ago, the last Friday in March. Because I was asked about it on stream, like when I thought it would be a long time ago. And they've been pretty reliable the last couple of uh, seasons. It's been six weeks at a time. Six weeks on PTS, six weeks on... Uh, or after launch for the next one or whatever. So they'll launch a season, then six weeks later it'll be on PTS, then six weeks later they'll launch the next season, so every three months. Alright, let's uh, stop here. We do have 150 in the roof rack on this one. No, Gigi, he said about expeditions. Oh, I missed... Uh, I'm trying to read back now. I saw those wavy lines. Oh, jeez. This region was a test of your soul. I, mi I must have missed the part about uh, expeditions. Poor but surviving, JJ. Anything after this was papitas? I don't know if I said that correct. Regarding snow. I think he said... They, oh no. Um, I see what you're saying, Mateo. That I got, I got mixed up about my own comments. Um, I'm pretty sure he said this season wasn't all snow. But there is one all snow one in, in this... Um, in this year pass, if I remember right. I'd have to go back and watch my video because I remember I posted all of his, all the uh, screenshots from him on Discord. So yeah, if I, if, I mean, if anybody is curious, I guess you can go back and watch my store or news video from like a week or two ago. Yes, you said it correct, JJ. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay. Got a little carried away. Oh, um, I don't know if most of you guys knew this tip, but did you guys know if you throw off a winch from your trailer before your truck tips, you have autonomous winch? How many of you guys knew that? Uh, probably not many. Actually, maybe you guys have. I've shown it quite a few times. But yeah, since we got this winch off before our truck stalled and it's from our trailer, we actually have an autonomous winch. Interesting, huh? Okay, where is Warthog, Sentinel, Step, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna hook this thing up. I think I got enough fuel to make it back there, so... Morning, everybody. Hello, Patrick. Uh, you thought snow runner seasons this year won't have snow, but... If I recall correctly, expeditions will not have snow in year one. Yeah, expeditions, for sure, there's no snow in year one, is what uh, Sorokin said. But he also said this uh, current season, season 13, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, he said there's no... or er, it's not a full snow region. Um, but he did say there was a full snow region in uh, year four pass, so I'm pretty sure that's season 15. Dogs are chasing the cat, be right back. Don't want to clean up the blood from those morons. Yikes. I keep waiting for new seasons instead of finishing my starter game. <laughs> that's funny. 
wow, I need to try this? Yeah, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I mean, obviously it's not super helpful most of the time, but if you get off a winch onto your trailer, the most the most useful uh, case of it would be like, say you're on a, a big slope, a big hill that's going, you know, turning or whatever, and you feel like you're about to, to tip over, you can put a winch onto your trailer and maybe up to a tree or something off on your side, you know, whatever, whatever side you're leaning, going the opposite way. And if your truck does end up tipping over, you still have that winch on your truck, on the trailer actually. It only works if it's attached to your trailer. If it's attached to your truck and then you tip over, well then it, it just shuts off. But if it's attached to your trailer and you tip, tip over, you still have your winch. So that is uh, an interesting thing. I, I don't, I mean, I've shown it quite a few times, but I don't think most people know that one. It looks like Chell and uh, Matt didn't know that, so that's good. Always glad when I can teach you guys something. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. How many of you guys did know that and how many of you didn't? That tip is useful, except I use mods a bit much. <laughs> yeah, mods can just do that just uh, whenever they want, can't they? Almost every mod truck can just have an autonomous winch. I've said it many times, you know, play however you enjoy the game. If you, if you like using mods, by all means, use a bunch of mods, if that's what you have fun doing. If you like making stuff harder like myself, then make stuff harder, you know? Start a new game plus, start a hard mode, whatever you gotta do to make things more difficult. You know? Obviously don't make it too difficult to where you're not having fun, because the whole point is to have fun, so. If you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. Actually, let me back up here a bit. He had no idea, really. Let's get this. You know, Chell is short for person in Russia. I did not know that, no. I can't say I know much Russian. I should say Nyet. I did not know that. Okay. Actually, let's uh, change this truck, detach the trailer, change back. Patrick, where are you at? Belgium. Let's see if we can roll it. Nice, that went pretty easily. Uh, Artem, do you do you speak fluent Russian? I know you you were uh, saying a few words here and there, but do you speak fluent Russian? I don't know if you. Just know some words, or if you actually speak fluently. There we go. Ha, ah, nice. Oh, you do? Okay. Are both of your parents Russian? Symphony of the Night the Night and Emergency Services. Oh no. Almost did it again. Like I said guys, I've been driving terrible tonight. There we go. All right, I think we'll park this one next to the others. We'll have a big, uh, big truck meet over here. Mom is Ukrainian, dad is Russian, okay. Don't crash, nice. 
Got a bumped into it. All right. So now we have what one one trailer back there, one truck, another trailer, another trailer, two more trucks, or three more trucks. We got one more truck here in the town, another trailer here, another truck here, another truck here. But basically, we got all of our trucks. Except for the Zix, this one's got the rocket trailer, so we'll have to bring this one. That'll be our transport for the next one, guys. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That is the end of the stream. We will be transporting the rocket trailer at the start of the next one. We'll probably just pull our trucks a little bit more off the road and then go. I think it's going to be pretty tough. It's a pretty, pretty rough mission. I'm trying to think because I don't even have that I don't even have that bridge built yet. I probably should build that bridge too. So maybe maybe I do have a little bit more work before we bring this one here, but I mean we have everything done in Urska and everything done in uh, Northern Ages installation, so I guess I guess we could bring this rocket trailer all the way out of this uh, region. I'll quickly pop up the map for you guys. We could bring it all the way out and right through the gateway here. And then we could just wait till we fix this bridge to make that a little bit easier so we don't have to transport it quite as you know, tough. And then somehow get it all the way to Cherno. I don't even have the uh, the gateway unlocked yet. It's like right here. We've never been that far, but we'll have to figure it out. Nice stream. Have a good night. Hopefully... I'll be awake to catch you tomorrow. Sounds good. Uh, PCP will straighten you out for sure. You'll be driving for straight days. May even soil yourself. Exciting times. Thank you, Lessons. Thank you, Ian, Mateo, Artem, Patrick. Sorry, uh, Patrick. A Co couple of you guys came in, you know, towards the end here, but uh, not the normal stream time. Um, I know Tank Baby gave us a $2 donation. Thank you, Tank Baby, for that. If you end up seeing this later. Um, Bad Boy Gamer, Chell, Southfang, anybody else who I've missed, Weezen, get him just kind of scrolling up here through the chat, Savi, and probably many others, Daniel's Off Road Gaming. Yeah, thanks everybody, have a good night, and see you all again soon. I, again, don't know what we'll be playing, Expeditions or Snow Runner Season 13, or possibly some more hard mode, so. Oh, Wild Fox as well, thank you, Wild Fox, have a good night. See you all soon.